Hey guys, Anthony here from Triple XRC Garage, and what we got set up here is the Bronco and a couple of my trailers. Um, so my thing today is about overlanding. Um, I did start up a group or a page a while back, and really never did much with it for overlanding, and uh, so therefore. I just wanted to um, do something about it. Um, now, this TRX4 Bronco Edition is a great crawler, without a shadow of a doubt. So my big thing now is to figure out, not figure out, but to to show you trailing and overlanding. The biggest thing I've found out now in overlanding, because I used to have a D90, and it, Great presentation, looked awesome. I'll throw a picture in there for you. But the problem with it is, <laughs> it rolled over too much because it was too top heavy and so forth. So that's one thing you gotta worry about. But that truck was such a narrow truck, that's why it did what it did. It was more of a model truck than it was anything else. Um, won me some great scale points back in the day. But, so what I wanna do is you need something that's capable of crawling but also capable of pulling a trailer and trailing so stand by and i'll show you some setups so underneath this spare tire which i did put a cover on mine um is your trailer hitch and so this is i think is an entity one i've got a few of them and it'll just slide right in that little cavity and then underneath here there's a place to put a, a screw so you can put your three millimeter screw in through one of the holes and it'll hold it in place and therefore it's set up um one of the other things i've done in the past was you could set up that now you see how she just squatted this trailer's not light. And I didn't have much suspension relaxed anyway, but it is gonna provide some weight to the back tires pretty heavily. So you may wanna adjust your shocks for that reasoning, um, or lower your front shocks, one of the two, if you've already got the back extended up. This uh, trailer that I'm featuring right now is um a trailer that i got from a guy out of new hampshire or massachusetts he's on the border so i can't remember if he was in massachusetts or new hampshire but i got it from him he stopped building them for now he still has a facebook page so if you want to keep monitoring it, he may start building it i don't know um but it's round tree um here let me show you the decal here basically you can see it it's round tree custom trailers and that's what you look up on facebook now these things are a little dusty because they've been sitting on a shelf and of course i've accessorized these things this does have a working door and uh does have a working door and I did put some stuff inside, like I put carpeting in, which was felt. Uh, I actually have a TV in there, but it fell down. TV you can buy from, um, so I can pull it out of here. It's stuck to something. Another big part is getting your hands in this little hole. Uh, the little flat screen TV with some Velcro and I did have it mounted in here. And I think the Velcro must have fell down. Yeah, it did. Well, this is one of the things I used when I was doing um, doing the, uh, the scale competition. And then this is a piece of really cheap tarp pull these off there's a couple rods it'll extend out like a little awning so I'd have it set up like that 
and of course my rig was set up too and you know and that's how you got your people voted on you um this trailer is good for trailing i wouldn't go overlanding with it it's only good for trailing and the reason i say that is because it does you know i mean it it's just it's just bulky um so if you were going to overland i would probably use a flat trailer like this set up now i don't have it screwed on here yet or hitched together one of the things i do here is i do use a three millimeter screw to attach it to the hitch because that way i don't have to worry about it coming off on the trail um a couple things i have done on these trailers um is he had him capable of opening up and putting stuff inside and of course the back hatch i actually got some gorilla tape holding that closed because of the spare tire um i'm probably going to end up losing the spare tire on this trailer just because it really don't need it i got a spare on the truck um i don't know then of course this didn't come with it i actually got this off ebay this little uh, roof rack and i mounted it on here so you can put stuff in here and this came off of um somebody's 3d printed this and i can't remember who what where how but that's what this was and then of course these are the little pool boxes you can get at lowe's or tractor supply and i love those little things because i always put them on backwards but like i got all kinds of stuff in here i got chains my screws that hold it onto here and so forth and and that's pretty much it now when you get these trucks um he does put some simple tires i don't remember where he got them from but i basically put these old scx 10 to uh takeoffs so i put them on there and that's pretty much what i've done there now as far as accessorizing the truck i've got a couple ideas and i'll be right back to show you so this is a a pod it's a 3d printed pod i painted it though it was white and black and it came from scale 15 um they do 3d printing on ebay and you can buy their stuff and um I took some, I don't know where this jerry can came from. This is off a of sport rack and of course sport track. So I got these zip tied on. I'll take these off and basically I can mount this. Yeah, mount this like this here. Of course it's cockeyed because of the other thing. I can put that on there to give it that more overland look. And uh, like I said, if you wanted to do trailing and if you're going on a family vacation, there you go. Um, let me turn the truck a little more sideways this way here. And, and that's pretty much the setup. Um, there's a lot you can do for overlanding. Now, yeah, I'm showing the Bronco right now. I'll show you another truck. Stand by. Okay. So this rig here is actually a trail runner um it's got some dust on it too <laughs> but it's a, a trail runner and done my own mods to it of course i uh put it pretty much put the goodyear mtrs on here on a uh one nine wheel but i got the smaller version so because this truck does run a little bit smaller class I did go on to Knight's Custom and got the 3D printed grill, Toyota grill for it, because this is not a licensed body, even though it's kind of similar to a 4Runner. And I also got the 3D printed um, real spoiler, because the one that came on it was really tiny. And of course, same trailer as you saw before uh, from uh, Roundtree Custom, I did wrap it and orange vinyl and uh same roof rack i actually took a uh front bumper off i think it was off a of red cat wind wind go windigo 
another toolbox with the uh, jack on it. And I don't have these hitched right now, so I'm gonna show you some more about this truck. So, I know some guys on eBay making them now, but I actually made this tent and I used my decal cutter to put the labels on it, although they're kind of wrinkling a little bit. And of course I made a similar simulated awning. And then I did find these small propane tanks on eBay. And my buddy got me this a long time ago from somebody who was 3D printing. This is way back when 3D printing first started. Um, I think it was in Israel. Well, I took it, heated it, and bent it so it would fit here over the on of the um, the rear wing thingy here and there. I also took some black vinyl and just blacked out the tail lights because I wasn't really going to run uh, lights on it right now. Um, so, and of course the roof rack, I added a little piece here to give it a little air stream. And of course got some accessory boxes here. And uh, this spare tire did have the... Um, I had something on it. I can't remember over over this spare tire. This tire is just empty. It's not a real spare. It's just enough to hold on. This is a yeah, racing rear bumper um, on here. A couple of uh, uh, TRX4 jerry cans glued on. Some cheap China antenna. And of course another toolkit that came off of a sport. And so much, so forth. That's it, you know. Um, so yeah, now this truck is a, is a good uh, trail runner. I haven't done any hard RC crawling on this because I've heard some people on, on the group said uh, because it is a independent front suspension that sometimes the gears will snap and have issues with it. So that's the only reason I haven't really done any hard crawling with this. Um, I love it and the reason I love it is because well, we do own, me and my wife, well, my wife actually owns it, <laughs> but we do have a family vehicle, which is a 4Runner. Um, and I always want, like, 4Runners as far as off-roading and stuff goes. So, um, yeah, so there it is. Um, so if you wanted to do overlanding, I mean, you could try it with this truck here. And if you may have an upgraded one, you might have upgraded all the front suspension and stuff and the gears, fine. I, because of the wheel sizes and stuff, I just think it's not gonna, I mean, I think it's gonna do okay, but I don't think it, it's gonna last long. I think, you know, my stock gears are gonna break eventually. Um, so that's the only reason I really haven't ran it hardcore. Um, yeah, right now it's been somewhat of a shelf queen. I do run it. I mean, you can say I've run it. Um, I mean, this is all scarred up here. It's got mud caked on here from the last time I ran it. So, I mean, I did run it. I'm not saying I don't run it. It's just that um, I just, and this is my own view. I might be wrong. I just think the capabilities between this one and this one is way different. Um, um, so, and because TRX4s have been known to go through anything and, and a lot of people are building them into all kinds of stuff. Um, you know, I mean, I kind of wish the Bronco version of the TRX4 did have an independent front suspension because that would be more realistic, but unfortunately it doesn't. Um, you know, I actually thought about throwing these tires and wheels on her to see how awkward it would look, but now that I'm looking at it, I don't think I'll do, I'll ever do that. But anyway... This is pretty much it for now. Um, probably going to be taking the Bronco on the trail. May take this out too. I'm not sure yet. Just thinking about it. So we might take one or both out on the trail and check them out later on today. Um, I don't know if that's going to be a separate video or not. Um, depends on how many minutes I've got already on this video. And uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. Now a lot of the 3D, a lot of the uh, vinyl you see on these rigs or stuff I've done myself. Um, I have a, uh, a silhouette printer or vinyl cutter, I should say. Uh, so now the trail runner is what comes with this decal kit for this truck here. I just put it on the trailer because I thought that would be kind of cool. Call it a trail runner trailer. 
put a little mountain scene flag. This is from the decal kit with my mountain that I print, uh, cut out. Um, but anyway, um, yes, yeah, so I vinyl cut all this stuff here, not the Stealth X. Uh, the Overland on the hood, the Triple X RC Garage, these decals up here. The TRD Off-Road, I did that as well as the flag in the window. And like I said, same thing with the uh, Bronco. Anyway, so if this turns out to be it. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and remember, have fun with RCs.